Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today I have a wonderful crochet magazine review, sneak peek of Crochet World Quick and Fun Crochet. Now this magazine has 55 plus designs to make in no time. Now this is the late spring 2024 issue. It's displayed until June of 2024. It's $9.99 in the United States and it's $11.99 in Canada. Now I found my copy at my local Barnes & Noble store so you should be able to find this online or in your bookstore. So let's go ahead open it up and take a peek inside. So first you're going to see the table of contents with a sneak peek of some of the quick and easy projects and then you're going to see the page number you can find the pattern on. The first pattern is the chunky lace scarf. Classic good looks meet on trend chunky lace. Crochet this bold and lacy scarf in no time. The unique loop closure means you'll never lose your scarf. It's an easy skill level and it measures nine and a half inches wide by 47 inches long. The next pattern is make it quick hat. Crochet with a large hook and a chunky yarn and you'll have a warm and stylish hat in no time. Make up a bunch and a variety of colors for every outfit. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are 22 inches in circumference by 8 and a half inches in height. This next pattern is the C to C Infinity Cow. One luscious skein of yarn and one addictive stitch makes this cow a can't put down project. The corner to corner technique makes the colors flow diagonally, creating an interesting pattern. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are 7 inches wide by 35 inches around. Look at these adorable felted slippers. Prepare for the cold months by slipping your feet into these warm and cozy slippers. It's an intermediate skill level. The instructions given are for women's shoe size 5 to 7 and 8 and 9 and man's shoe size 10 to 11. Let me get them up close. Don't they look nice and cozy to wear? And then here's a photo of the back of the slippers. The next pattern is his scarfies and hats. Easy repetitive stitch patterns are used to create two unique sets to keep your fellow warm and cozy. Love the color of the yarn, love the texture of the pattern. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's an easy skill level. The hat, the instructions given fit man size small to medium. Changes for large and extra large are in parentheses. Now the photo's a little dark, but here's another photo of the hat and scarf. And then we have cool hats for happy kids. Use your scrap yarn to make some fun and unique hats for the kiddos. It's a beginner skill level. The boy's hat is easy. The girl's hat is intermediate. Instructions given fit 15 inch head. Changes for 17 and 19 inch head are included in the instructions. The next pattern is the Infinity Ripple Cow. Hopefully you can see that. It looks a little dark on my monitor. Sewn together at the end, this Mobius cow can be worn as an infinity scarf or doubled around the neck. Skip the sewing to wear it as a regular scarf. It's an easy skill level. The finished measurements are 7.5 inches high by 50 inches in circumference. The next pattern is the Love and Hugs Cardi. This simple raglan cardi works up quickly to keep your little one warm and cozy this winter. It's an easy skill level. The instructions given for baby size 0 to 3 months, 6 to 9 months, 9 to 12 months, and 18 to 24 months are in the instructions. The next pattern is for the little hands and feet. Keep your little one stylish and warm in matching fingerless mitts and booties. It's an easy skill level. Instructions given fit infant size 6 to 12 months. Changes for 18 and 24 months are in the instructions. So there's a photo of the little booties. And then down here you're going to see those little fingerless mitts. The next pattern is the chain stitch dog leash. This leash is so fast and easy to make you can crochet a whole wardrobe of colors for your pooch. It's a beginner skill level. 
The finished measurements are 36 inches long. So hopefully you can see that okay. Turn it sideways so you can see it better. Then we have the flying disc toy. Here's a toss and catch toy your dog can really sink his teeth into. If he doesn't yet know how to play fetch, this soft and colorful saucer will make him eager to learn. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurement is 10 inches in diameter. The next pattern is the dog's accessory set. Deck your pup out with an adorable winter set and keep him warm on walks around the neighborhood. It's an easy skill level. The finished size instructions given fit small to medium sized dog. This next pattern I thought was very adorable. It's called the Checkerboard Pet Mates. One easy mat pattern can be made for either cats or dogs depending on the decorative accents you add. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are 20 and a half inches square. So this one is for a dog. And then look at this one for a cat with those little mice. How adorable. The next pattern is the cat igloo. Give your kitty a home of her own. This hideaway is a fast project with love crocheted into every stitch. It's an easy skill level. The finished measurements are 15 inches in diameter and seven inches high by 47 inches in circumference. And then here's another photo of that little cat house. The next pattern is a cat bed. Your cat will nap in comfort with this squishy cat bed with a fun scalloped edge. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are 14 inches in diameter by six inches at the highest point. And then here's another photo of that little cat bed. And of course we have to have a dog bed. This bed is going to become your dog's favorite spot to snooze in no time. It's an easy skill level the finished measurements for the dog bed are 40 by 54 inches before assembly. The pillow is 70 by 10 inches before assembly. Do you need some baskets? This is called the Into the Woods Basket. Stackable textured baskets in two tones are the perfect touch to your fall decor. It's an easy skill level. The instructions given are for small baskets. Changes for medium and large baskets are included. The finished measurements are five inches wide by six inches tall, eight inches wide by six inches tall, and nine inches wide by six inches tall. So three different sizes. Then we have the half square granny throw. A traditional quilt pattern is interpreted in slightly non-traditional half square grannies. This is an easy skill level. The finished measurements are 45 by 55 inches. How about some t-shirt hot pads? Stitch these extra thick hot pads using strips of your recycled t-shirts and two strands of yarn. They're great protection for your hands and kitchen work surfaces. This is an easy skill level. The finished measurements for the white hot pad are seven and a fourth by seven and a half inches. The green hot pad is six and a fourth by seven and a half inches. The next pattern is the Tunisian Spa Claws. If you are fairly new to Tunisian crochet, these claws are a great starter project as they are small and allow you to practice several different stitches. It's an easy skill level. The finished measurements, the broken lines is eight inch square, the woven stripes are eight inch square, and the tiles are eight inch square. So three different stitch patterns to learn. Then we have the manly afghan. This warm and textured afghan is the perfect pop of color for your couch or chair. And the different shades of green will be great all year long. Now this is an easy skill level. The finished measurements are 70 inches by 38 inches. What better way to say I love you than with the love pillow? A lovely textured pillow cover is embellished with love and a heart just perfect for your sweetheart. This is an easy skill level. The finished measurements are 16 inches wide by 12 inches long. And then here's a photo of the back of the pillow so you can see you can untie it and throw it in the laundry if it gets dirty. The next pattern is the Bell Crest Baby Blanket. 
Choose colors to match baby's room and crochet this striking multicolored blanket. The border hides all the color changes that are carried along the side edge for the reversibility and minimal finishing. This blanket is an easy skill level and the finished measurements are 40 inches wide by 45 inches long. And here's a much prettier photo of that blanket. Isn't that pretty? How about some checkerboard placemats? This repetitive stitch pattern is addictive and you will have this stylish mat made in no time. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are approximately 12 and a half inches by 16 inches. And I can see this made with any color combination to coordinate with your kitchen. Then we have the apple coaster and basket. Make a bushel of apple coasters and give them away to the teachers in your life or keep them and add a sweet treat to your table. It's an easy skill level. The finished measurements, the apples are four and three fourths inches across, excluding the leaves and stem. The basket is two and a half inches deep by five and three fourths inches across the bottom. How about some finger puppets for the little ones? This set includes five fantastic animal friends that are sure to bring a smile to your little one's face. They're easy skill levels and the finished measurement, the alligator is five inches tall, the chicken is four inches tall, the bee is three and a half inches tall, the elephant is three inches tall, and the frog is three and a half inches tall. These are so cute, and I can see the little ones having fun with these finger puppets. Now the next pattern, I'm just showing you the head so I can read the information about the pattern. This is Mr. Bear. This bear is perfect for little hands to hold, make his outfit in any color you want. It's an easy skill level, and the finished measurements are 14 inches tall. And then here is a much nicer photo of Mr. Bear. The next pattern is Sweet Princess Organizer. Turn leftover DK weight scraps into a cute princess with long braids to hold your little girl's hair clips and barrettes. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are 6 inches wide by 21 and a half inches long. The next pattern is the sleeping bag and tote. Kids will be ready for fun sleepovers with friends or at grandma's house with this comfy sleeping bag with its own carry tote. It's an easy skill level. The finished measurements. The sleeping bag measures 27 inches wide by 54 inches long. And when it's opened up, it's 54 inches wide by 54 inches long. The tote bag is 21 and a half inches high by 22 and a half inches wide by 8 inches deep. And then here's a photo of that tote bag. Look how adorable this next pattern is. This is Mr. Fox. This guy is a spot of sunshine on a cloudy day, and the flower on his sweater is just as sweet as he is. It's an easy skill level, and he measures 9 inches tall. The next pattern is the lamb rattle. The open circular design makes this rattle easy for baby to hold and the little lamb makes a sweet friend. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are six and a half inches tall. The next pattern is called the unicorn lovey with matching rattle. This cute and colorful mythical unicorn is a perfect take along project and a great gift idea. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are 14 inches square. This next pattern is so cute. If you do craft shows and you're looking for some of those really cute projects that pull people into your stand, this Hootie Owl keychain is a great pattern. Choose embroidery floss and your favorite color combinations to crochet several of these cute little owls. You won't be able to make just one. This is an easy skill level. The finished measurements are one and one fourth inches tall by one and three fourths inches long, but just really adorable. Then we have the Pot Luck Cozy. Taking a covered dish to a family get together or church supper will be easy in this cozy carrier complete with spoon holder. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurement is nine by 13 inches. And here's another photo of that cozy carrier. 
How about a cuddly kitten pillow pal? Make nap time extra special for your favorite little one. This adorable pillow uses simple stitches, making it a fun project to crochet to. It's an easy skill level, and the finished measurements are 12 inches wide by 11 and a half inches long. And then here's another photo of that pillow. How about a pencil mug rug? This oversized pencil shaped coaster makes a great gift for teacher and is large enough to hold a mug and an apple. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements are five inches by 12 inches. Now I can see this, this would be cute if you work in an office and you want a cup cozy to protect your desk, that would be fun. This next pattern I thought was so adorable and just the way the zipper makes it look like teeth. I just thought it was a unique idea. This is called the Felded Monster Fish Coin Pocket. This coin purse works up quickly and is super fun to create. It's a perfect first felding project as well. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurements before felding is four inches long by three inches wide by three and a half inches tall. And after felding, it's three and a half inches long by three inches wide by two and a half inches tall. Just a really cute pattern. Then we have the Chevron Cup Cozy. This design is easy to make and a must have for any coffee or tea drinker. Stitch it up quick and keep your hands safe from burns. It's an easy skill level and the finished measurement is three and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches in circumference. Then we have the weekend purse and cell phone cozy. This textured and easy to stitch set makes for a stylish and practical gift. It's an easy skill level the finished measurements, the purse is 11 inches wide by 14 inches long, excluding the strap. And the cell phone cozy is six and a half inches wide by four inches long. So there's the purse. And then here's a photo of the purse and the cell phone cozy. And then here's another up close look of the cell phone cozy. The next pattern is the car care set. Textured post stitches give extra cleaning power to this mitt and polishing cloth for your car. It's an easy skill level. The mitt measures six and a half inches wide by 10 inches long plus two and a half inch cuff. The polishing cloth measures 10 inches square. The last pattern is the pocketbook slippers. Cute little purse bundles make cute and cozy slippers. It's an easy skill level. The finished sizes instructions given fit four inch foot by three and three fourths inches high for small, changes for five and a half inch foot by four inch high medium, and six inch foot by four and a half inch high large are in parentheses. So here's a photo of the slippers. And then you get into the back of the magazine with the stitch guide that explains the stitches. And then you're going to have the photo shoot showing you all the patterns in the magazine. And then you're going to see the standard yarn weight system that describes the yarn used, the buyer's guide of where you can find the yarns that were used in these patterns, and the skill level that explains to you the skill that you need in order to make the pattern. And then there's just an advertisement for Annie's Craft Store to learn the Gansey crochet dishcloth patterns. So that is the inside sneak peek in the Crochet World Quick and Fun issue. This is the late spring 2024 issue, and I found this copy at my local Barnes & Noble store. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye, everyone.